Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry I'm like a little hit more, but I I wasn't finished with that video from in the car when I just dropped the kids off, y'all. So I'm going to finish it up right here like this. Like, it was a lot going on with Miss Seely. It was a lot going on with her straight from the rip. And I'm, I'm, I am I'm got to break this down, y'all, because, look, she didn't even get a chance to be like, Having no little lit married life or nothing. She didn't even chance to have nothing because, first of all, what's his name? Mr. Look, straight, straight from the rip. Because this is why I'm going to make my couple points and I'm going to get out. First of all, watching people kids is irking. Watching people kids is irking. And not even that. Do y'all understand that Mr. He was a hybrid. On the one hand, you could say he was a gangster who thought he was all that because he just beat up Sealy. He thought he was gangster. He thought he was. When he was coming in there, he had me shook in the movie. He had me shook. He was mean. He was big. He was black. And he was irking. But then, this would make the movie good because... um. You see that somebody who is a monster, who you think is a monster, he just another man. And not only is that he just another man, though, right, y'all? Look, he another man who got a, like, basically, it's like um, big fish eat little fish. That's the, what I got from um, Mr. Uh, Mister. Because, look, y'all, go back and watch her color purple because I've watched the movie like a science. Here it is, y'all. Look, here it is. If you listen to the story that Mr. Um, I don't know if the sister tell it to silly, but she say it like Mr. Wife got killed while she was coming home from church by her boyfriend. Go back and check that out, y'all. Go back and check that out. Mr.'s wife. The wife he had that was probably Hoppo Mom. Hoppo Mom and them kids right there. Because it's a lot in that movie, y'all. And I'm going to break it down for y'all. But this is going to be part two. All Miss Seely trying to go live in a house. But look. And this is my D-Scar shorts. But D-Scar, I don't use this for, for that. Because I was kind of like hit. Mixed with the fact I was dropping the kids off. Whatever. Look, y'all. So the one thing is that. Mr. Like, what kind of man is you that your wife already had a boyfriend? And your wife's boyfriend was that tight with her that he was going to show up on her path home from church and kill her. Go back and watch The Color Purple, y'all. And all of this stuff happens in less than the first 30 minutes. It's a lot of information in there. But I'm going to be doing part twos or part threes of this. So, y'all, this might go in a, a, lot of, a lot of parts because The Color Purple is my favorite movie. And since y'all are part of this channel, y'all are about to watch the movie from a different perspective. Because now you're going to get to talk to me about things that maybe you already knew that happened in the movie. But now you have someone to talk to you about the different perspectives because this is what I saw. And once I watched it over and over again, at watching it as an adult, it's things that can be seen and things that can be interpreted from the information. She giving you straight information about everybody. And if you just watching the movie, then you just watching. But the one from 1984, the movie is packed with information. And I went back and read the book, but that's something different. Let's just stay with the movie, what they tell you in the movie. Mister, what kind of man is you? Your chick, not only is she cheating, she cheating enough for her boyfriend to get mad enough to kill her. It ain't even you that kill her, mister. It's her boyfriend. Like, so what kind of man is you? Like, is you a real nut for real? It's given he's a nut. Because he out here beating up silly, but his dad be checking him. I'm sorry. Your dad be checking you. My mom be checking me, though, y'all. But not like Mr. Dad be checking him. Because he did. He out here choosing your wife. But I'm going to save that for part three. Because of what I discovered based on his dad, meaning Mr. Dad. That light-skinned short man who be coming around, keep on getting smart with Mr. All Day. He be checking him. And he don't be, he be treating Mr. like how Mr. treats Hoppo. Like you just directing a young man life. And then you getting smart with him all day. And then you stepping over, over the line. Like you shouldn't be telling him nothing about who he could date like that. I mean, you can, you can give suggestions. But once he start damning these chicks up... What is you doing, Dad? Back to my point. And after this, I'm going to get on out. I'm going to get on out, y'all. But hold up.
about the color purple, we're going to get in because it's my favorite movie. Now, if you listen to the story, Mr. don't even have his wife because his wife got killed by another person. Why is this movie not about Mr. on a headhunt going to go take care of his business for who did that to his wife? Why is this movie not about that? Mr. what you was doing? No disrespect, mister. What are you doing about it? Because it didn't say, like, the KKK and them came and showed up and killed her while she was on the road. No. That's like the the um, the um rape of Reese Taylor. That's another, that's a documentary that I saw. And this woman's living in 1940. She was coming home from church and she was gang raped by a gang of white people. Go check that out. Um, Oprah, the one who put me on that. I never forgot that woman name, Reese Taylor. But anyway, y'all, look. And that was a documentary that came on some other thing, whatever. But it's produced by Oprah. I ain't trying to get in there. Oprah, this and I'm just saying. She had some good information about what was going on with the women like us. And like I told y'all in my last video, I heard it said that the black women are mules of the world. The mule, we under everybody. I know we not. But the point is, the way that we were stuck in society and how we have to build from the place of where we are. We're already a woman. So you're not even really being respected in certain spaces just from the fact that you are a female. But being a black woman, it's like now you have to put up with the fact that your strength level is less than a male's strength. Because y'all know they, they held the white woman down. Because look, any black woman, look a black man look at her, they ready to kill our whole generations. Even though... A lot of them times, that's a whole nother different video. Let's just keep it on the women, and we'll get into the men later. The point is, mister, why you didn't ride out on the bull who killed your wife that was hopping on her mom? Why ain't kill? Why ain't you do nothing about that? But you're out here looking for a new wife that's 14. Now you get your new wife that's 14. You can't even get the little sister. So what the little sister was 13 or 12, mister, who was you trying to come and get? This joint stinks. I love the movie, but mister, you're stinks because you a nut. You a nut. That's it. You a nut, mister. And I'm going to tell you some other reasons why he a nut. But you was a nut, my man. Why you not out here? Why she ain't say so then? Mr. Head killed the nigga that killed. Sorry for saying nigga, y'all. Killed the man that killed his wife. That's what he came for me. I would have had more respect for him. Like, come on. I'm going with you, mister. I ain't going with you. I could just cheat on you. Get my own boyfriend. My boy and I'm scared of my boyfriend. Not you. Stop. Mister, you a nut. Um, that's why Suge was treating you as such, I see. See, I would have peeped them out too, Suge. Sorry, anyway, but we on Miss Silly. Miss Silly don't know no better. She's from Fresh Abuse. Fresh Abuse. She liked how that, that Bible verse said. Shorty was pressed on every side. Every side, everybody coming at her except her sister. She never said she had the support of her mom. And then, mom, I don't know what was happening with Steely mom, but something happened where this man was able to keep on having sex with her and having babies with her. It ain't like she was shipped off somewhere else with the pregnancy. Shorty was pregnant. So what's her everyday life like with the woman who birthed her? I got a couple stories, uh, um, a couple videos of this, because it's going to be the un uncolored purple, but it's all information based on that story. But it's questions that I have. You see, Silly wasn't getting no boyfriends. If y'all said she was ugly, so how's she getting pregnant? Okay, so now, moving forward. Moving forward, because I'm about to end this video. But I'm, I really got to say this about you, mister. So now, Silly, fresh out of two kids, did they fix her? Meaning, why did she have to stand trauma of a man putting his inside her that's one trauma for Celie. two she had to get them people out that came in there and only women know only us women know sorry man y'all not in this only us women know how hard it is god jesus knows that it's the hardest thing ever not just getting them out having them in there every pregnancy is different my last one Pregnancy, if y'all had a million dollars, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And I had three of them people. If you gave me a million dollars right now and said, Audra, I need you to do this 10-month pregnancy for me or take this million. I mean, or don't have no million. I'm going with the no million. I'm not doing it again. Come on, one, no, no million for a thousand. I can't do it again. I can't. I don't want 10 million. I don't want to. 
Lord Jesus, I don't want to carry no kids no more. And I'm saying, I said all that to say, these women didn't even have no choice. The first two I was cool with, I like carrying the boys. It was cool. Like, the first boy I carried, he was cool. My 14-year-old, I was playing kickball when I was pregnant with him. He was straight. My second one, a uh, little little morning sickness. Like, around the 14th and something, something week, I had, like, some kind of sickness. But after that, I was chilling. Like, everything fine. We eat fine. That third pregnancy, I'm not doing it again. No way, no how. When I say it like that, y'all, I was sick from the day I had that pregnant sign to the day I had to go get her cut out. Yes, that was a sickness every day. Every day I woke up irritated and it wasn't even just about me getting big. I was waiting to stop feeling sick. I was sick like a dog. Sick to the point where I had to go to the hospital. I digress. These women didn't even get no choice. I cannot imagine... I am a me. I'm a black female. If I had been living in that time, it would have been all up for grabs for somebody to get me pregnant. Bow. Up for grabs. Like, or just nothing. Up for grabs. Get her pregnant. Boom. Then she going to have them babies. No body protection. No protection for the black woman. Now she got to have them babies. She ain't even a woman. This is a little girl. So then she under 14 on the first baby. She's still under 14 on the second baby. They ain't giving silly no type of love. Okay, cool, silly. By the time she getting about to get sold or no sold to the to Mr., the man who gave her them babies, he states specifically that she cannot have any more. What has happened to her reproductive system that he know about that a 14-year-old can't have anymore? What has happened? We know, but we don't know. Did they do that? And then what pain does that, what other pain have you heaped on to this girl? You done heaped on you uh, in, inviting yourself into her body, inviting two people to come out of her body. Then you saying you about to go back in there and then switch it all up so it don't never do, do nothing no more. Then she got to go have sex with this other man all her life and watch his kids and he a nut. All he want to do is fight girls. He don't even want to fight every girl because he can't beat Miss Suge. Miss Suge, he ain't even want no smoke because we ain't even get to that yet. But uh, you want to go beat up on this girl who just been through. Look at how they was doing this. No disrespect, but do you think that he could put something like that in a book and not have us all flat to the wall if people did not have to suffer and live parallel to what that story says it's imagery and it's truth and imagery do you not think that it was people like us that had to live in circumstances like that and even worse circumstances like that and what i'm saying is because i originally had this ch this channel used to be called black girls in trouble a lot of time they can't even see us Right, everything about the black man no disrespect to the black man i love the black man i'm raising two black men i love black men but you got to see the girls. We the ones who have to carry babies. It's like you trying to say about a slave man. He a slave man. He a slave. But the girl got to carry babies. Like that's a whole nother war upon the body. It's a war on the body to put a baby in it. It hurt. It ain't right. It is right. The Lord made it. What I'm saying is a war upon a woman's body to put a baby in there. All the sisters on this thing know. If you ever had one of them people and you ever had a hard time being pregnant with them people, the only thing ain't hard is getting them in there. That's the only thing ain't hard. The rest of that stuff, better be in love, better be married. God was right when he made his book that said, be married, then get the one and, and wives. It wasn't just about being married. It's about being a, the good chooser of who's supposed to be the head of you. But that's something else. Meaning us girls, we supposed to, we got something in it too. Choose the right man. But back to Miss Steely, she didn't even get no chance to choose nothing. All I'm saying is, mister, you were a nut. Mm -hmm. You out here looking for abuse vagina. That's a child. And then on top of that, you had the nerve to start beating her up. You could have just loved Miss Silly and kept it moving. She probably would have like tripped, like loved you up. She probably would let you have her. She just probably would, like get my sister. Like let me just go be with my sister sometimes, and y'all could do y'all. You and her, I don't care. But I felt because I felt like that's what she said at the end anyway. I don't even want you. But anyway, just neither here nor there, y'all. Y'all gotta like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all gotta get in this conversation because I am not making this up. 
go back and watch the color purple and listen to the information that's provided to the person who's to the audience in the first 15 minutes it gives you all this information about this young woman but as i said to y'all this point this was about having to watch his kids first day she get up there to go be married he got a kid that throw a rock at her head she 14 now you got a rock hit in the head while you on the way here ain't nothing to tell about how she done had two babies don't need, they could have been cutting up in her side of her vagina because the old man said it don't work no more. He straight knew that. How did you know that? How did you know that? That's just, it's a lie. Then she strolling all up and your little son hit me in the head. Seely, I don't know why you wasn't beating up on his kids. Sorry. All right, Lord, forgive me. This video was going tripping. This video started tripping. Silly, I would have knocked young boy out. Because I know I can't beat your dad, but young boy, you getting beat up. I don't care. I'll figure it out how to get you. I'm getting you. And I'm getting you. I'm going to get you. Because if I got to get beat up anyway, you're getting beat up. And if you tell on me, I'm going to beat you up again. But anyway, <laughs> that's another thing. Don't forgive me. Whatever. Look. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know y'all views on Mr. Because this part was about Mr. He took advantage of what he had going on. But he was a nut boy who had a wife. He had a wife, cause don't and I ain't lying. Hoppo, yeah, Hoppo and them other two little girls. Where was they, mom? Oh, she got killed by her boyfriend. Come on the road, so what's up with you? Nothing. Mind his business, waiting to get a damaged girl so he could beat her up for years. But he ain't say nothing to his fly girl, Shook. And now I'm going to come back with another video to explain to y'all what I feel like the relationship between Shook and Mr. was. And this is all just my hypothesis. But it's based on the information that they give us from the movie. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you want me to tell you how Mr. and Suge really was doing before they, because they already tell you what was going on between them before they ever get back. But y'all, I love the movie. It makes me so hyped. I love, 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 love this movie. Hit me up. And watch my videos. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all, if y'all want to hear that other part. But I'm coming back with another part anyway. But y'all know what's up.